Hi everyone, it's me, Rockham Sakura, and the baby from Teletubbies. <laughs> I am full of sunshine on Gina, and welcome to our very last episode of Fashion Photo Review for Drag Race Philippines. We dress as the colors of the Filipino flag. We did. Agdina let me borrow this outfit, so yeah. thank you so much. You're welcome. This is obviously like the sun from the flag that represents the eight nations. I had to super glue this on my hand. It's really like snatching her tight. I was helping her glue it onto her head. Yes. She said I can pull it off, so maybe we'll pull it off at the end so, of this. So yes, please stick around to the very end. <laughs> exactly. And then I'll show a nipple. I'll show a nipple <laughs> or something like that. Finale looks are usually like the most well done, nice. extravagant looks that the queens brought. And we're in luck because there's actually two looks for this last episode too. So it's Bonga Camp Day. Bonga is like knowing that you're a fierce, fabulous okay. person, I think. It's like a camp runway because it's Bonga Camp, camp Day. day. Like, yeah. I can say I'm Bonga. I can say you're not, but. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's also a play on a song, another song um, that I remember from my childhood. It's called Bonga Kadai. How does it, it goes, go? Okay, here we go. Sing Hold it. Up. On key. Bonga Kadai. Bonga Kadai. Bonga Kadai. <laughs> Bonga Kadai. That's it? Yeah. Bonga Kadai. Well, I don't know the entire lyrics, but yes, that's the main. Okay. And then the second one is Indigenous Extravaganza which is an homage to the culture and our Filipino people. It is the end and we are looking for the top of the top of the top of their game. Is it flattering? Does it look extravagant? Does it look fun? Should this win Drag Race Philippines? Yeah. Let's go ahead and look at some of the returning queens. Not the shoes. Yeah, the shoe from Prince. Prince. Throw it away. <laughs> A very princely outfit, very cute. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Corazon. Oh, Corazon. Wow. wow. She looks amazing. good. Pink and blue has never looked so good. Yeah, we do love this combination of colors. Oh, Gigi era. Gigi era, wow. Look at that headpiece. Oh my God, look at that headpiece. Wait, I just got goosebumps. <gasps> she looks so good. Incredible. <gasps> Doodie. Doodie. She's so sweet and so nice. And you're not having a bad drag, just a bad day, right? Yeah. <laughs> this draping on her looks so fun. Yeah. She looks this great. Hair. Oh, the, yeah, the hair looks great on her. Wow. Lady Morgana. Oh, this is a tribute to Mindanao. That's where she's from. That hair looks gorgeous on her. She didn't have to pull off any bangs today. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Vinyas. Vinyas. Oh my God, Vinyas broke her foot. This is amazing. Oh, oh no. She, she looks so good. We love you, Vinyas. Bridget, ding, 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 ding. Ding. Oh wow, ding, ding, ding. She looks good. Is this going to be a reveal into something more fabulous? Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at her beautiful legs, her beautiful arms. That hair looks absolutely Look gorgeous on her. that little dress. Can I have it? Yeah, please. <laughs> Minty, Minty Fred. Fred. Oh, wow. Really incredible. Oh my Look at goodness. All that work. Minty, Minty, Minty. She looks so good. She looks like a fried tilapia. Well, Everyone loved, looks gorgeous. Yeah, we loved every single one of the past queens that's been eliminated. They all look beautiful and you brought it. We love you. Mahal ko kayo. Mwah. Please welcome our top four in their first of two grand finale extravaganza looks for tonight. For our first look, category is Bonga Camp Dai. At first, for Bonga Camp Dai is Precious Paula Nicole. Look she's, at her. She's the tent and she's also the Girl Scout. This is so fun. This is fun. What I a well executed this. silhouette. Yeah. Very campy. Very campy. She opened the slit and she pulled her leg out. It's oh so funny. God. This is a great execution of camp down to a T. Her presentation made it camp too pulling down the zipper and then barely pulling out her leg was so funny. It's very big, it's very extreme. Hits the mark on everything for this runway. It actually fits her really well. I love these shoulder things for the dramatics. I love the little hat 
Mm -hmm. I love the use of orange in this, with it predominantly being like this turquoise a teal color. Mm -hmm. Also scouts. Yeah, scouts. Scouts. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a toot. I'm gonna give this one a toot as well. Up next, we have Eva Laqueen. Are those lumpias? They're lumpias. <laughs> so she has the sauce too? Ew! Yes, she has the sauce. <laughs> and the lumpia headpiece. This is so fun. The silhouette of a dress is always so very flattering. I love that she did like this cutout right here on the breast instead of it being straight. Mm -hmm. I love the lumpia headpiece. Obviously, I'm gonna love every headpiece. Yeah. And the fact that it's lumpia. I love lumpia. I love headpieces. So together, it's amazing. I wish she'd hide that bra in the back, but despite that, I think it's very cute. I think it's really cute too. I think the lumpia pattern is very distinct. The headpiece is so funny. Every little bit of nodding to like Filipino culture and eating lumpia, having the sauce in the water bottle mm -hmm. is so stupid. Her silhouette that she uses here looks good for her legs. She did it last week. Mm -hmm. It makes her look good and I think it's fierce. I think it's camp. So I'm gonna give it a toot. I'm gonna give this one a toot as well. Also, pahingi ng lumpia naman. What does that mean? Can I have a lumpia? Please? Oh yeah, can I have one too, please? <laughs> Up next, we have silhouette. Oh, oh, look at the silhouette of the, the people I on know. her chest. It's so good. The silhouette. Wow. Of, oh my God. That love, is gorgeous. I love the two dimensional prints on the dress, and I love the way that this dress looks on her. But then I love the three dimension of the hair that sort of looks like shawls that's going down from the silhouettes on her breasts. Mm -hmm. I love that she curled her hair this week. Yeah, it's yeah, not I flat. Love it. I love how big it is. I love the shape of this dress as well. I love all of like the lines um, that goes this way and then this way. And I love that headpiece. Funny thing is I kind of wish she had her straight hair for this look <laughs> so that it kind of matched the outlines on her chest. But it's very clean. It's very precise. It's illustrated really well. And it's very clear coming yeah. out the gate. I feel like the headpiece is a little bit of a disconnect from the rest of the outfit and so you is do? The, a little bit, oh. but it is it is share though. If she had changed the hair a little bit, mm. um, then it would have been a shoot yeah. because I really love the concept and the execution. It's just here up is not my favorite. This is a very, very hard toot. And I give it a very high toot as well. Up next is Marina Summer. Yes, flip flop. <laughs> Wait, this is a game. And Does she have a chinella? <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> camp, camp, camp. And it says charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. It's so funny. So the outfit itself, it's like 60s a little bit. Yeah, very um, mod. So the can is kind of like Warhol and it's kind of like Warhol era. Mm -hmm. I really love how she keeps this pop art design and she has like the solid blocks of colors. Of course, the bottom here is a little bit simple, but the execution was so good. so good. So funny. And the levels of her missing two of the slippers yeah. and then finally hitting it with a purse sent me. I love the reference of it from pop art, like very mod, very 60s. This reminds me of like my childhood so much and it is incredible. It gives me all the right feels. And yes, it's a little bit on the simpler part, yeah. but it's executed really well. The entire presentation was really strong. So it's like simple, but it's intentional. Yeah, and but it's still like strong. It's a toot for me. I also give this one a toot. My God, I can't believe we tooted all of them. All of them, <laughs> all of them. We did because they were incredible. Yeah, the top four is really bringing it this season. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get on to our next runaway, which is Indigenous Drag. Yes, here we go. Next grand finale category is Indigenous Extravaganza. Up first for Indigenous Extravaganza is Precious Paula Nicole. Oh, oh, wow. I love that it's neon because it gives it like a modern take. And I love that she wore yellow hair. Look at all these feathers on this. Oh, look at the way it moves. It's very, very cool. She looks great in it. She picked great colors. It cinches her really well. Very strong. It's very fun. I love that it's neon, but it also pays homage to the indigenous people and the native of our beautiful country and she looks freaking incredible and I love how she modernized it 
with all of those details. I think the colors are really immaculate. I think that it frames her really well. It moves really well. I'm gonna give this one a toot. And I give this one a shoot. Up next we have Miss Eva LaQueen. Oh wow. Ooh. This one looks a little bit more traditional, but still very modern. I don't know what indigenous people that she is paying homage to. Even me without knowing, this is incredible. Now I see why she changed the sleeve from her very first runway. Well, this is the evolution of a Filipiniana because it did start out with like a shawl and billowy sleeves, and then it transformed into like this butterfly sleeve. It's really polished. The headpiece really frames her really well, and the headpiece is made so nice. I know, I'm jealous. I appreciate a headpiece too. I think that it's very tasteful. Mm -hmm. You could have easily made it with like different materials and stuff that would make it look tacky. Mm -hmm. But the headpiece looks great on her. The tone of the fabric is absolutely gorgeous on her skin. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate a small detail is the bow that's on her back. Yeah. That drapes down all the way to the floor. Which is the same color as the inside of her dress. You see like the lining on her dress yeah. matches the color of the bow. Every little detail, like the necklace matches the gold of the headpiece. The fabric and the way that it's like woven, you can kind of see the details that it's like intertwined, is very beautiful. She looks gorgeous, by the way, too, her makeup. I'm gonna give this a toot. I'm gonna give this one a two. Up next, we have Silhouette. Oh. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna forgive the nipple this time. I love the asymmetric. I love the way that it looks. I love the train. I love the drape on the shoulders. And I freaking love this headpiece. And she looks incredible with this like grayish sandy blonde wig. And I think that this is a very strong dress. My favorite part about this whole thing, besides it being asymmetric and big and billowy, is how intentional the cutout of her nipple is and that she's really showcasing it on purpose. Yeah. And she's always kind of had that kind of like intentional gender bending mm -hmm. yep. type of drag. Her makeup is really fierce. The headpiece really kind of being this big voluptuous feather headpiece mm -hmm. with this plain white billowy dress mm -hmm. is so fun. Also love the fabric. It's all pleated and the way that it's all layered and cut up. It all just looks like it's supposed to be place exactly where they're supposed to be to show all the dimensions of the dress. I'm gonna give it a toot. Toot. Last, but definitely not least, we have Marina Summers. Oh, oh wow. Every the back piece is, looks like it's benig or something. The, the mats, right? Like the mats intertwined type of like natural fabric that makes it like one big piece. The full mother of pearl color story going through this, when they're executed like this, I love a nude color. Like the real star of this whole outfit is the mother of pearl that's adorning the outfit yeah. all the way down. I was gonna say it gives her like this hourglass shape that's very beautiful. And the fact that they're all different sizes, mm -hmm. I think I'm seeing the same thing you're seeing. It's incredible. The fabric choice on the back is so interesting and uh, so full and the way that she layered it and turned it into these ruffles is very gorgeous. It makes it very elegant and it makes it very unique. Everything about this screams elegant Filipina. I love it because it's not only a classic silhouette that she exaggerated to be even more flamboyant and even more extravagant and even more fabulous. I love the three different dimensions in it. There's the, the shells, there's the fabric that the gown is made with the appliques, and then there's the train, which is also in a different fabric. And all together, you may think that they don't work together, but it's all complementary. Now I'm gonna give this a shoot. I'm gonna give this a I shoot too. Yeah. This is a shoot for me too. Trend, Trend alert. Classic but modern. Paying homage to something and bringing it into the future. Changing it from before to now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful heritage. Our top two of the week is Marina Summers. Oh my God. This pearl outfit is absolutely decadent, opulent. The mother of pearl on the front is mm -hmm. so gorgeous. This entire look is very much big words. 
thank you so much for the love and the support that you gave all of these queens yeah. for the very first season of Drag Race Philippines. I wanted to say thank you so much to Angina for teaching me a lot about my Filipino culture. But I also want to say thank you for being such a fun host with me. I, I love sharing this experience with you. Make sure that you follow all the queens from this season if you want to help support Filipino drag. If this is your first time watching Fashion Photo Review and you haven't watched this season of Drag Race Philippines, you can binge watch the whole season everywhere in the entire world on WOW Presents Plus. Except for Canada. Except for Canada. Congratulations to the winner of Drag Race Philippines. Yes, congratulations. We finally got a Filipino winner and all it took was for us to have our own franchise. And it's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, oh wait, we did promise them something. We're gonna end with a bang by you removing the super glued headpiece off my Yeah, head. I'm so down. Ah, oh my God. Oh. oh, that hurt more than I thought it was going to. You, Look were at that. you were supposed to rip it faster. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank Bye, you for watching. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, ah, there we go. You did promise a nipple. <laughs>